Yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, Navi Jr. should be able to take this game with the draft they have been able to set, for, uh, set up for themselves in the starting phases. Right, game number two, people. Uh, again, it is Navi Jr. leading the series at the moment, 1-0. And uh, it, it's all up to uh, Zero Tenacity to go ahead and take us to a game three in case if they are able to with the draft they have. Though the Templar Assassin, in case if the Zero gets off to a very good start and is able to maintain that early game advantage uh, through a very prolonged period, um, they, they, will, they might have a chance in this game. But again, Gyrocopter is ever scaling, right? That hero will scale and scale until he gets his Divine Rapier. Now, Ogre Magi is uh, going to be the hero who is going to be receiver of a five-man gang coming out from uh, Zero Tenacity. So, already off to a great start um, for uh, ZT, wherein they were able to get the first blood on uh, the Templar Assassin, which marks an excellent start for the game for the Radiant team. Uh, now, for uh, the bounty runes, are we still spread up? Chirocopter does not want to engage in any fights. He really does not. So he's just going to stick around his top tier one tower and stay near his lane. And does not want to go away and give away any further advantage than what Zero Tenacity have already taken for themselves. Now they are still lurking around in the area. Is it just going to be one bounty rune for Navi Jr.? If that... Right, so uh, it is going to be one, yeah, just one bounty rune. Who is this going to go into? Yep. Zero Tenacity are going to walk away with three bounty runes at the start of this game. And uh, Navi Jr. just have one bounty rune to work with. Along with that, they lost the first blood, uh, giving away uh, the first blood into the hands of the Templar Assassin. Uh, right, so uh, this is what we have in terms of lanes. It is going to be a Mars plus... Uh, uh, Dark Willow going up against uh, Gyrocopter and Ogre Magi, who did go with the uh, facet of Learning Curve. So level 2 when this hero is uh, going to become extremely powerful. But before that, he has to be really careful. And if he's not careful, he's just going to give away his life one more time. Couple of more hits needed. But no, with the stick charges, he's able to survive for, a sec uh, for an additional second. Uh, but again, has already lost on such uh, high amounts of HP on the Ogre Magi. So yeah, I think he should be waiting for his level 2 before getting aggressive on the map dude. Uh, in the meantime, Gyrocopter can just go ahead and use his Black Cannon in turn in order to get the last hits uh, for himself and push out the wave on the side of uh, Zero Tenacity altogether. Now, they are not able to get the Creep Wave um, entirely. Um, but again, uh, the 24 minute mark, uh, well, the 24 second, minute, uh, 24 second mark and now with the brambles have been committed they would not be able to get that pull off successfully uh gyrocopter is still doing a decent chunk of damage with one point in his black cannon uh onto the both mars and uh, the dark willow as well so yeah the harassed damage is always going to be there now with the level two on ogre magi he has two points in ignite and one point in fire blast so his damage output from ignite is going to be considerably high as uh, we are progressing along and his uh, damage output you is, of course, uh, going to increase time. every second. Right, looking at the last hits, it is Templar Assassin at the top of the uh, top of the last hit chart with eight last hits. Uh, on the counter, Niku on the Pangolier only has, what, five uh, working for himself. So, as expected, this, this lane is actually going to favor the Templar Assassin who would be able to go ahead and sustain herself through the laning stages. And uh, while this uh, mid lane as shenanigans are going on, would be able to go ahead and uh, gather up a lot of gold into her pocket. And even threatening the life sometimes of the Pangolier would not be too surprising, really. Um, anyways, uh, two minutes in. Uh, seems to be a pretty slow game. Um, just the first blood which was taken by the Templar Assassin on the Ogre Magi, but the rest has been pretty quiet. Now, uh, we are still waiting for the bottle to be delivered on the Pangolier, which, of course, it's on its way, but the Templar Assassin, um, already with the bottle, has already gotten uh, the rune. Um, well, no, Pangolier is just going to wait for the bottle. Go ahead and regen a little bit of his HP and mana, 
and then go ahead and refill his bottle though. Does that successfully and is able to walk back to his uh, lane and uh, secure more last steps uh, if, he, if he's able to. Uh, that is. Uh, in the meantime, Gyrocopt is still having a pretty decent time in the top area of the map. 12 last hits, uh, 14 last hits, 2 denies. And uh, let's look at his counterpart, Dragon Knight. Uh, how is he doing in the bottom lane? It is a Rubik versus, uh, Rubik plus Doom uh, versus the Dragon Knight plus Rinstroke. So this uh, Dragon Knight as a hero is able to stand in his lane in his uh, position for a prolonged period of time. So would not be in any immediate threat of dying because of just his inherent, uh, inherent HP and armor which he is able to uh, gain for himself. So in pretty nice stead, Dragon Knight should not be too much threatened in this lane. Uh, from both of these heroes, so we'll have a pretty slow and decent lane to start of the proceedings. Uh, again, the most exciting excitement is going to be in the top area of the map, where we'll, we'll, we will be looking at the Gyrocopter, uh, who has uh, gone ahead and caught, uh, did take a decent chunk of damage, does have 13 man magic ward charges as well, is dishing out the damage as a Splat Cannon, uh, but the rest of the Radiant team is able to walk away without any problems and uh, not taking too considerable amount of damage. Now, are they going to get any pulls off? They might as well get a stack and a pull off as well. But the rotations are being made. Uh, the four minute water rune would be spawning. Uh, one would be taken by Dark Willow and the other one would be grabbed by the Templar Assassin. So the Pangolier is going to be left high and dry since he had to go to into his own jungle in order to pick up the bounty rune. So a little bit of more time, experience and last hit lost on the Pangolier as we're looking at it, only last 11 last hits when we are compared to comparing it to Templar Assassin on 22. Uh, so this mid lane has been comprehensively won by the Templar Assassin, not in terms of kill, but at least in a lot, of, a lot in terms of the last hits and denies, which the TA has been able to gather for himself uh, in the initial, say, four and a half minutes. Right, uh, while we are speaking, Templar Assassin is able to get a solo kill onto the Pangolier. So, uh, a start which uh, Zero Tenacity uh, had for themselves actually got a lot better uh, because now they were able to secure a solo kill uh, onto the mid laner. Now, aggression is going to continue in the bottom area of the map. Uh, it is the Dragon Knight who is falling, uh, finding himself a little low on HP. But there is the Dark Willow who is coming into the picture. Uh, Rubik make, trying to make the rotation, but Ogre Magi should be able to provide some sort of assistance here. Would be able to secure a kill. Dark Willow still falling low on HP. They were able to commit with the Blood Grenade. One more hit needed. Lebron Dota and Lebron Dota would be able to get a kill onto the Rubik. In return, they were able to finish off the Dark Willow, but a lot of heroes are falling low on HP on the side of Zero Tenacity as well. Doom, of course, is not in any threat of dying. Does have, what, 18 magic, uh, magic wand charges as well, so that hero is not going to be dead anytime soon. Um, but the Templar Assassin, well, uh, will have to give a little bit of space to the Pangolier in order to, well, uh, Pangolier is still doing, well, he's still doing bad, right? Um, okay, six minutes in, uh, the rune has been picked up by the Templar Assassin. Of course, it is the Illusion rune. Uh, could I have uh, worked with uh, maybe the Haste rune or the, the Amplified Damage rune, which would have been more desired by the Templar Assassin. But it is what it is. Uh, we're able to get, well, now they are able to set their vision onto the Templar Assassin. A lot of damage already has in, uh, has been already inbound. Uh, well, it does not. The invisibility does not save because it is going to be the Rubik who is able to walk in with uh, his uh, dust. And they are able to finish the Templar Assassin, which is a very big kill. He was the, well, Templar Assassin was the highest net worth hero. On, uh, in the game currently and bringing down that hero really does uh, provide Nabi Jr. with a lot of gold and experience going into their pockets. Right, so a little bit of stacking being done by the Mars here. Uh, some eventually we'll see the Templar Assassin and come in and clear off. Now, they are making rotations in the bottom area of the map. Uh, three heroes. Uh, there is uh, still no level six on the Doom. He's still waiting, but again, now there are three heroes. Now, magic damage output is something which they have in plenty from the side of Navi Jr. A nice arena onto three heroes, but is he able to do enough? No. 
I don't think so. And Gyrocopter is going to be coming in, uh, cleaning off all of these heroes on the side of Zero Tenacity. And, uh, well, they're going to be losing four heroes. It is every other hero other than the Templar Assassin who did not choose wisely to join the fight did go down in that engagement and in return they got nothing absolutely nothing on the side of Zero Tenacity so a nice 1000 net worth lead for the side of Navi Jr. Uh, wherein Gyrocopter did 2100 damage in the team fight with just with, with Falcon they completed at the moment yeah well now the Templar Assassin would be able to get a vision now this is going to be a very quick kill and Templar Assassin would be able to finish off the gyrocopter who was trying to head into the jungle now it is going to be the Templar Assassin who is going to be finding himself in a lot of trouble there is a Rubik chasing him but he has the assistance of the Dark Willow and the Dragon Knight is going to come in uh, put a stun onto the Ogre but now the Rolling Thunder has been committed the Doom has been committed as well and Templar Assassin is of course is going to go down they were able to get a kill on the Rubik and on the Ogre Magi as well two supports going down but in return at least they were able to finish off uh, the position to inside of Navi Jr. now it is going to be the Doom who is going to be in a lot of trouble Dragon Knight in with the damage should be able to bring down the Zero without any problems and now the Pangolia does not have Swashbuckle available for another two seconds does not have any stick now he will have the Swashbuckle so would be able to get himself onto the high ground and not in any further danger of dying but it is a team fight which was won, uh, which was won by Zero Tenacity in that engagement wherein they did lose the Templar Assassin but in return they got what uh, uh, they got the Gyrocopter they got uh, the Doom as well so nice bit of pickoffs coming in from Zero Tenacity though they did lose their Mars in the hands of the Gyrocopter one more time so yeah got the juice is uh, has a lot of juice uh, in his tummy at the moment and uh, all that juice is actually come out, coming out as damage anyways right so uh, zero tenacity uh, are still doing decently well in terms of uh, in terms of where the net worth is currently gyrocopter has climbed to the top of the net worth chart closely followed by the templar assassin and uh, what are we looking at more aggression in the mid lane wherein they want to make an attempt onto the tier 1 tower but again uh, the smith tower is something which is not the easiest to bring down there is an ogre magi who will be putting his bloodlust onto uh, the tower all the time now they are making a rotation to kill off the templar assassin uh, rolling thunder has already been committed but again no further backup available uh, so with, they would not be able to get a kill now ogre magi is trying to survive with his life does do so uh, successfully there's a bit of vision set up as well, but again, uh, Dark Willow was not able to get the vision in order to get the last hit onto the Ogre. So all of the heroes are going to survive from Navi Jr., uh, but they might be ending up giving away their mid-tier 1 tower. Yep, since they don't have the Rolling Thunder available, I just don't think it makes sense uh, for the side of Navi Jr. to engage into a team fight because, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's a recipe for suicide. And, and if nothing more anyways they have made they it is a two-man smoke they are heading towards the bottom area of the map wherein the gyrocopter has successfully backed away already yep he, uh, he is going to go ahead and tp into his own uh, tier 2 tower in the top lane and go ahead and continue uh, his farm in that area in terms of itemization does have the falcon bait completed working into a crystallis and then into an agonim scepter is what i'm assuming on the gyrocopter and uh well, uh, on the Dragon Knight, we have uh, absolutely nothing. Uh, well, is, what is he making? Why is he so poor? He's sitting at 5,500 net worth. He's sitting with his power treads at the moment. And what exactly is coming in? Did he, blink, uh, did he go ahead and purchase a Blink Dagger? He did. I was just thinking, where is where exactly has all his network gone to? So it is going to be the Blink Dagger. It's an early Blink Dagger purchased by the Dragon Knight. Position 1 Dragon Knight, we don't usually see it. Uh, but uh, this time around, Dad, which is uh, going to be Position 1, has picked up a Blink Dagger to start the proceeding. So we might see some aggressive moves coming in from the zero side of Zero Tenacity in the upcoming 2-3 to three minutes, wherein the Dragon Knight is very mobile and is able to go ahead and... Uh, engage onto team fights now uh they were trying to find any sort of stacks being set up by zero tenacity unfortunately not able to do so and uh, the heroes are going to walk away from that area uh the ogre would not be connecting onto the brambles mars did go ahead and come in and wanted to go ahead and threaten with the arena 
which he does so. Dragon Knight is coming in, doing a decent chunk of damage, but all of these Radiant Heroes, Die Heroes, are still surviving. Doom has been committed on the Dragon Knight, so Dragon... No. The Doom was committed on whom? Oh, the Doom was committed on the Templar Assassin. They would be able to get a kill on the uh, Dragon Knight to start off the proceedings. He, well, got a bot bad bounce on the Pangolia, otherwise they might have had the kill onto the Grimstroke as well. Uh, but now have already lost their Doom, but they did get a successful kill on the Dragon Knight, which counts for a lot. And the question is, are they going to continue their aggression on the mid tier one tower? By the looks of it, no. They are just going to back away on the side of Navi Jr. Uh, well, they have the Crystalis completed. We have the BKB being built by the Gyrocopter, so completely skipping is uh, Aghanim Scepter at the moment, just wants to go for more survivability um, and against sustainability as well. Uh, so it is going to be an Aghanim Scepter after his Chrysalis and then he can go into his Aghanim Scepter, Daedalus, Satanic, Divine Rapier, MKV, whatever he chooses to get. Even, I don't even think it's a bad Scardi game for a Gyrocopter, just make, makes himself so much more tankier. But a three-man smoke coming in from uh, Zero Tenacity. Uh, let's see which hero exactly they are able to find for themselves. Right, so it is going to be the Pangolier who's going to be finding himself in a lot of trouble. This is going to be the blink reveal coming in from the Dragonite. And as soon as it is shown, it is going to be the Pangolier. So from now onwards, it is uh, uh, Navi Junior who would know that there is a blink dagger on the Dragonite. So we'll have to be careful of their positioning so that he cannot just blink stun on top of your head and then uh, do a decent chunk of damage. Now they were able to get a kill onto the Mars. In the bottom area of the map, uh, it is still Ogre Magi who's trying to run away, but no. Templar Assassin is able to catch up to him, bring down that hero, and in turn, they also would be able to bring down the Gyrocopter, who is doing a decent chunk of damage onto the Dark Willow, uh, but again, not able to achieve much. Now, R Rubik is still on the run. Uh, Templar Assassin does not have a BKB. No, no, well, that does have a Blink Dagger. So, uh, I, I think it's a dead Rubik, by all means. Still being annoying to the side of Templar Assassin and no, eventually it is the Meld Hit which comes in and uh, well, Zero Tenacity are able to find another kill for themselves. Uh, that's interesting, 2000 network lead for them uh, in this uh, in this game number 2 at the moment. And of course, yeah, this is going to be the final game in case if Zero Tenacity don't win this, Navi Juniors take the series 2-0. So it would be interesting to see what exactly Zero Tenacity have planned up for us. Uh, we have, uh, we see, now the Blink Dagger is still about 200 gold await on the Mars. Okay, so another kill. Pangolia did go down in the top area of the map wherein he was just peacefully farming uh, and uh, making his tier 1 tower survive. But eventually, now. Now, uh, Zero Tenacity really did not want to give that space to the side of Navi Jr. in order to farm up these uh, creeps for themselves. So, uh, Templar Assassin with, uh, well, what does he have? Yep, so Blink Dagger already completed on the Templar Assassin. Of course, we are working towards a Desolator. And what, uh, okay, Roshan is... Uh, it is still a lot of grouping up from the side of Zero's Tenacity and Navi Jr. are still kind of, uh, you know, searching around the map uh, for whatever farm they can. Uh, they will have the BKB completed on the Gyrocopter in another, say, 1300 gold. So uh, maybe that's the time when Navi Jr. will feel confident making a aggressive move on the map. Uh, but before that, they will have to play uh, with a little bit of carefulness, to be honest. Uh, because in case if any of the heroes are caught out and with all this magical junk being thrown out by Zero Tenacity, that uh, hero might not have anywhere to move at all, unless he has the BKB, of course, which the Gyro is currently building for himself. Alright, so 17 minutes and it is a slight 2000 net worth lead. Uh, for the side of Zero Tenacity, but again, which is very not, uh, it's not very substantial. Um, I'm not exactly sure if Zero Tenacity are um, able to, uh, well, uh, let's see uh, what exactly they are doing with uh, 
that they are going to go ahead and invade the dire ancient area wherein they would not be able to find any heroes uh, a lot of rotations are being made of course we have not seen doom too much uh, in these fights as it is already at level 11 what is itemization he's going for he's going for a bkb which is already completed and next he would be blink, uh, making his blink dagger uh, so a nice bit of addition into the armory of Navi Jr. who might go ahead and get to look aggressive on the map as well with that BKB completed on the Doom. What about the Gyro? Is he going into a BKB? No. Uh, gyro is going into... Yep, he's going into a BKB. So another 200 gold. Uh, but the Juice will have his uh, BKB completed which is again a big upgrade for the Gyrocopter. Next he can go with any item of his choice. He can go for an Aghanim Scepter, he can go for, uh, well, there is a fight ring around in the middle area of the map. They would be able to find the Dark Willow of all heroes. So not the biggest of kills, but the arena has been committed onto the Pangolier, who is able to swashbuckle away to his safety of his own team uh, with the, after the river. So yeah, it's going to be a much alive uh, uh, Pangolier. But again, they have to be careful on the side of Zero Tenacity because there could be many heroes showing up in a certain area and they would be able to uh, overwhelm what Navi Jr. have in their arsenal okay so uh, now there is a blink stun coming in from Ogre Magi he was able to get the vision onto uh, uh, the mass who has already taken a significant amount of damage so would be going down in that engagement now the dragon link still coming in from the dragon knight uh, it is going to be well they would be able to get a kill onto the room to start of the proceedings now the question is how are they able to do enough damage jadokopter has already taken a decent check of damage coming into the templar assassin but now they will have to back away from the area now Templar Assassin turning around doing a damage onto the, uh, well, it is the Ogre as well. But in return at least they would they were able to fight the Dragon Knight. They, and they found the Mars and uh, the Dark Willow as well. So it's a fight which is definitely going towards the side of Navi Jr. And as we're looking at the previous engagement, 2,600 gold gained by the side of Navi Jr. And 3,800 experience. And now that's it done. Right, so Rubik is going to be a menace for uh, Zero Tenacity in the upcoming team fights because uh, he can go ahead and steal uh, the Master Dana. Uh, he can go ahead and use uh, any of the skills coming in from Dark Willow and the Grimstroke can be very handy in order to, well, in, in the context of where the game is heading. And uh, we are looking at the Gyrocopter dead. He soloed him. Mars actually soloed the Gyrocopter, which is never a good sign. For the side of Navi Jr. But again, it is what it is. They did lose their gyrocopter in the process there. And uh, Mars will be able to make it uh, back without any problems. All right, so uh, it is still more aggression. No. Uh, Gyrocopter, we are still waiting for him to respawn. But again, uh, at the bottom tier 2 tower, aggression was being shown, but they are going to walk away on the side of Zero Tenacity. 21-minute uh, Wisdom Rune has uh, is going to be spawning. It is going to be taken by the Pangolier. So at least not losing that in the process on the side of uh, Navi Jr. Now let's see if that smoke is going to result in something good. Uh, of course, the Aghanim Scepter has been queued up by the... Well, they would be able to get their vision onto uh, the... Uh, he's dead. He's definitely dead. There is no way this poor Grimstroke survives that gank attempt. So, all that smoke, all that time wasted was uh, for a position 5 Grimstroke, who's going to be what's spawning in about 34 seconds. And uh, let's see what they are able to... No. They would be able to bring down the tier 1 tower without any problems. I don't see any way they are able to deny this. And uh, Jarocopter well on his way into his itemization at the moment. Alright, so uh, let's see where exactly are we heading towards. So, Aghanim Scepter is still being completed. A very peaceful time in the game as yet. 
Uh, maybe the next objective is going to be the Rosh Pit, but again, we will be still completing for the first volley of items to be completed. Now, there is a four-man smoke coming in from Zero Tenacity, and uh, they might be able to find the Pangolier in case if they no, they are not going well. They were able to get a blink stun onto uh, the Ogre Maja, who is, of course, going to be food for the Templar Assassin. Now, they have their vision set onto the Rubik as well, who's going to go down next. And Navi Jr.'s lineup is finding themselves in a lot of problem at the moment because the five-man rotation coming in uh, from the side uh, uh, by the Radiant team is actually proving out to be very difficult for them to handle. Right, so it is a big upgrade for the Dragon Knight now. He does have his BKB completed, so he is not going to be the easiest hero to bring down. And uh, Zero Tenacity with the 4000 network lead are just going to walk into the Rosh Pit, get the Ages of Immortal for themselves, which again is uh, going to be Dragon Knight. I think it's going to pick up um, the Ages. Right, so Aegis did go down. It went into the hands uh, of uh, the Templar Assassin, who would be working with two lives currently. So uh, let's exactly see here. Amazing what you found lying around. Well, it's still a kind of a stalemate, wherein we do have a secondary life on the Templar Assassin available. Uh, but both of these teams are not wanting to make too much of an aggressive move on the map. And we are looking at a lot more kind of farming yeah. patterns being developed all across where uh, yeah, the Templar Assassin is farming the Radiant Jungle. Again, we have the Gyrocopter in the bottom area of the map with the Ancients and the Big Tramps. And then uh, the occasional um, creeps as well. So... Right, so fight is still not breaking out. We are looking at a lot of uh, a lot of poking and prodding, but again, it is uh, not resulting in anything substantial for both of these teams in the early stages. Right, still a very peaceful time wherein um, just a bit of rotations being made by the Radiant team. Of course, they have not been able to gain anything currently as yet. With the Ages of Immortal expiring in another three minutes, they should be able to technically bring down the Spear to Tower. But again, uh, Templar Assassin with that blink was able to blink away from harm's way, not taking any further damage uh, from the Navi Junior's spells. And now it is still going to be God the Choose who is still working towards his. Uh, no, he's not even. Uh, well, he has his uh, Aghanims completed now. So the build is partially complete for the Gyrocopter. Let's see how much uh, of an impact he's able to have when the team fight actually breaks out after, say, three to four minutes now. Uh, we are still seeing an attempt coming out from the Templar Assassin to this mid tier 1 tower. And uh, with the blood bloodlust already committed, and uh, yeah, just the damage output is not enough at the moment. So the Templar Assassin would be just able to stand her ground, get her last hits for him, uh, well, the last hits. And the tier 2 tower is still standing. Uh, it is not going anywhere, apparently. Now, they are trying to make uh, get a kill onto the Templar Assassin, but he's just able to use blink away uh, with the uses of the refraction. So, uh, yeah, Templar Assassin is beginning to become a problem for the Navi side of Navi Jr. and they will have to come up with a good strategy in order to go ahead and uh, provide a little bit of uh, excitement here. Right, so a bit of de-warning happening from Pangolier as well. 
11,000 net worth lead, but uh, both of teams paying a lot of respect to what the other team has to offer. So, uh, not much aggression being shown, just some creeps being blasted. It, it is a complete, uh, you know, animal massacre in the jungle. Um, so again, uh, uh, there was uh, well, Tempest has to do a decent chunk of damage onto the Pangolia who will have to walk away. But eventually, it is the Pangolia who goes down. The mass arena has been committed as well. Look at the big Dragon Knight, the big Golden Dragon Knight with his uh, BKB. Well, he really does not give any opportunity to the side of uh, Navi Junior in order to make a comeback. Now they did go ahead and lose their uh, Elder Titan. All right, so uh, as we're looking at it, the mid-tier three tower is being assaulted by the side of Zero Tenacity, who would be able to bring down this tower without any problem. So this, uh, these are technically the first set of racks, which are being claimed by the side of Zero Tenacity. And I don't see any clear way of engagement from the side of Navi Jr. How exactly will they initiate onto these heroes, who do have a lot of backup working towards them um, in, in the hindsight. So... Uh, they are just going to go to the next set of racks, which is... Uh, Alright, so the Dragon Knight Illusion is still farming away to glory. A uh, slight 5,000 net worth lead for the side of Zero Tenacity. 29 minutes into the game. But again, by all means, it has been a pretty slow game from uh, both of these teams. And uh, you know, it's, uh, the kill score is 20 to 17, 30 minutes in. Uh, but majority of the time, we have been looking at a lot of farm fest. And it's just the supports taking a tumble all across the board. Now, we are working towards a butterfly onto the Templar Assassin. Uh, that's kind of a cool item to have against uh, the gyrocopter who throws in a lot of AOE damage. Uh, and uh, the question is, is uh, you know the Templar Assassin with that additional attack speed and damage make a dent into the HP pool of uh, the side of uh, Zertanacity now? It is a Dark Willow who has been caught out eventually. Well, uh, Dark Willow is going to survive but they are going to switch over their targets and they actually would want to get a kill onto the Templar Assassin, which is it's an extremely big kill. Now the Dragon Knight has come in trying to do as much damage as he can. Uh, but again, it is the Gyrocopter who is still doing, dishing out a decent chunk of damage with his flak cannon. And uh, yeah, the, it, it is going to be Zero Tenacity who will have to be careful how further along they want to approach. Um, and uh, well, uh, at the end of it, it is still the Gyrocopter who still comes out on top. Right, so two heroes dead on the side of Zero Tenacity. Let's see. Now they're just going to be playing defensive. Now there are a lot of objectives for the side of Navi Junior, which they have to bring down. For example, the top tier one and tier two are still standing, and then the bottom lane there is a tier two, and in the mid lane as well they have a tier two tower. So a lot of objectives, which are still available on the map on the side of uh, on the Radiant team. Let's see if they are able to get something out of it. All right, so a slight 1,000 net worth lead. The game still hangs in a balance. Totally would depend upon which team is actually able to get uh, the initiation. In case if uh, it is uh, Zero Tenacity getting the initiation on a very important hero, maybe it could be the Gyrocopter or the Pangolier. I think they have a very good opportunity of winning that fight. However, if Navi Jr. are able to evade that, and uh, you know the Doom opens the fight, gets his BKB off, and then he gets the Doom off on a specific hero, 
whom they want to focus so that is something which they would want to do and uh, would be interesting to see if they are actually able to get this for themselves So the Rolling Thunder has been committed and they were able to get the vision. They were able to dispose of the Dark Willow immediately on the side of Navi Jr. Now, Zero Tenacity will have to be careful how far along they want to approach. But it is the Grimstroke who would be able to walk away out of the harm's way. Harm's way. But it is a mid laner which uh, the last uh, the side of Zero Tenacity lost. Now they did lose their uh, Grimstroke as well in the hands of the Pangolier. So uh, heroes falling like flies on the side of Navi Jr. And now we are going to head towards the second tier 3 tower. And uh, well, uh, with the flak can activate very soon, we should be able to do a decent chunk of damage here. Just, no, yeah. Alright. So uh, it is going to be the ranks which are being committed. Yep, so one set of racks has already been taken down by the side of Navi Jr. They did not have their Templar Assassin or the Grimstroke available, so they pretty much fell free in order to invade the base uh, out of Zero Tenacity and get uh, that set of racks advantage going for themselves in this game number two. Um, so, 34 minute mark, a 7,000 net worth lead for the side of Navi Jr. Which is not very high in that regard. It, it, it's still a pretty decent lead which they have been able to. Nice Dragon Stun coming onto the Gyrocopter. Remember, he does not have a BKB available, so it would be big in case if they are able to burst him. In fact, they are able to burst him down from 100 to 0. And now it is the rest of the team fight, which is already over for the Sahar of Navi Jr. It is the Ogre Maja who has already TP'd away. The Spear Connection coming out on uh, the Rubik, but just one shot hit. And the damage uh, hit was going to hurt the the poor Ogre Magi, who did eventually end up losing his life for that attempt they made. Anyways, now uh, since uh, just a second here. okay, so the Ages of Immortal is being assaulted by Zero Tenacity. By the looks of it, they would be able to get their hands on it, and none of the Dire Heroes would be able to make it here in time. So. A clear-cut advantage for the side of uh, Zero Tenacity where in the, before the Roshan Swift uh, switches his home, they are able to bring him down without any problems. Uh, right, so uh, what are the next move for uh, Zero Tenacity? Right, a, a lot of vision set up near the ancient area for... Uh, for the Dyer team. Navi Jr. really wants to see in case if the Luna is anywhere farming in that area or even the Templar Assassin to a degree. And they can just go ahead and come in and dispose of that, uh, you know, uh, all quickly. Okay. So, what are we looking at? Ages? Uh, still about seven. Okay. Yeah. It has just been taken by the Templar Assassin. Uh, right on. So, uh, now uh, Navi Jr. will have to be careful how far along the map they want to approach because uh, once this he uh, hero reaches uh, what now Dragonite is still trying to find his way in order to go out and put defense but this time around he did go with the item build of uh, Maid Slayer BKB and then Assault Fury so it's not technically a very damage kind of a build wherein he has opted to go for the stats and the armor and the survivability uh, since they have a Templar Assassin in their team who would be dishing out a decent chunk of damage when it comes to these team fights. Now, uh, the win condition for Navi Jr. In case if uh, the Gyro is able to, you know, activate his BKB and let go of all of his flak cannon attacks, I think Navi Jr. are with a very good chance, uh, you know, to make a kind of uh, a comeback. Well, not a comeback. They are still doing very well in terms of where the lanes are at, so not too much pressure on the side of Navi Jr. in the so early but losing their uh, well, top tier to tower always sucks and uh, it is going to be Mars Arena which could go ahead and caught any specific hero available in the vicinity. Ogre Maja did come in and uh, go ahead and de that that uh, those wards there so that at least the vision advantage remain on the side of Navi Jr.
All right, it is uh, going to be the top uh, tier three tower, which is uh, kind of been exalted, but uh, we are looking at the rolling thunder, which was committed by the Bangalore, wherein they would be able to get the vision onto the dark below. In fact, it is going to be the, both the supports going down. Now, it is going to be the chain committed by the Grimstroke, but is that going to amount to much? Now, there is an amplified damage rune onto this uh, Templar Assassin, who was able to blink to the low ground, but they are able to catch up to the zero without any problems. Now the buyback had to be committed by the Dark Willow. Now it is going to be the Dragon Knight who is going to be finding himself in a lot of trouble. But immediately the Doom did come and he did go ahead and Doom the Templar Assassin. Now let's see how much damage is they going to do. Jarokopra has made it into the fight as well. Does still have his... Uh, well he did go ahead and Samatanic completed. He does have his BKB completed as well but the damage output is more than enough. And they are able to overpower the... Uh, well overpower the Dragon Knight. Now, it is going to be a high ground assault coming in from the side of Zero Tenacity, wherein they were able to chase uh, the hero of Templar Assassin completely back to their base. So, a nice bit of team fight coming in from ZT, wherein they are up by 9,000 gold now. And for all their efforts, they got about 32, 3,300 gold and 9,000 experience in that previous engagement. So, uh, let's see what exactly their next move is. Of course, it is going to be the Rosh Pit. Um, no, it's still quite some distance away. Not exactly sure if they have the means in order to go ahead and approach the high ground uh, from the side of Zero Tenacity or are they just going to be making a attempt? They don't have their Pangolier in the nearby area, so he would be taking a sweet time in order to get to that area with the swashbuckles. Um, but no, they were able to bring down the Tier 2 tower uh, on the side of Navi Jr. And now all of, he all of these heroes are blacklisted. Uh, it's okay, and uh, Alright, so it is going to the Pangolier who is currently on a mega kill streak and they were able to dispose off to the Grimstroke as well who was just trying the poor fellow was just trying to split push uh, but unfortunately was not given the opportunity in order to go ahead and complete that for himself. Now with a 12,000 network lead on the side of Navi Jr., things are looking... Um, yeah, they are definitely looking in Navi Jr.'s way with the draft as well. Uh, Gyrocopter is a hero who would have, uh, you know, he's, he's a pretty hard carry when compared to the Dragon Knight. Now does... Uh, He's just going, against, going to go ahead and stand in the river. Now, it was the glyph of fortification which has been committed uh, by the side of uh, Zero Tenacity. But uh, how exactly are you going to fight the gyro? He still has his, uh, what, BKB Satanic available. You are not bringing this hero down from 100 to 0 uh, by any means and would be able to just stand there and lay his damage onto these buildings. Now, Dragonite did go ahead and uh, commit in order to take a team fight on the side of Zero Tenacity. Uh, but uh, none of the heroes were able to catch up and they would be able to survive with their range racks with 208 HP. Since it is range rack, so it is of course not going to be regenerating. Uh, so yeah, uh, anytime any tire uh, or even the Treants come into the area, they would be able to finish this tower altogether. Anyways, in the mid area, we are proceeding with a four-man smoke coming out from Navi Junior. And equally, it is going to be, well... Okay, move has been made. It is uh, going to be, well, they have the Ogre Magia who is finding himself in a lot of trouble. But again, it is the Doom which has already been committed onto the Dragon, onto the Templar Assassin who has to walk away from the area in case if he's lucky. But the question is, are they going to give him the opportunity? They were not able to get any kill as yet. Uh, but at least they would be able to get a Constellation kill onto the Dark Willow. Um, no, yeah. Grimstroke would be, uh, well, it is the going to be Mars who did go ahead and commit with his BKB Arena in order to go ahead and find for them. Um, okay. All right. Uh, the aggression is going to continue from the side of Navi Jr. who really do not want to give any respite to the side of uh, Zero Tenacity. And let's see what exactly uh, Zero Tenacity are able to get in the final hurrah. Now this is going to be one final fight for the side of ZT. In case if they are able to go do good here, 
uh, they might even stand a chance to do something in the game. But in case even if they fail in this team fight, it, it's just pretty much Donzo. They would be able to set their eyes onto Tormentor, but they eventually have to give up. Alright, so the BKB has been committed already by the Dragon Knight. Doing a decent chunk of damage. Confess Sassin herself doing a decent chunk of damage. But Gyrocopter along with the Satanic and the Daedalus is doing a decent chunk of damage. And all of these heroes are just melting to the damage coming out of the Gyrocopter. And it is an ultra kill for God the Juice. Now give him the Rampage uh, would be the motto for the side of Zero Tenacity who are kind of, well... Uh, let's see, he does have his black cannon available in another 10 seconds, so he's dishing out the damage. Will he get the rampage? No, he is not going to get the rampage and they will have to divert their attention now. It is the mass who did come and uh, did come and try and join in the fight, but again, there is too much sustain, there is too much HP on the gyrocopter and the damage again is going to be very high and there is no hero on the map who can stand to on toe to toe with the gyrocopter. Now they uh, only have the bottom set of, well, they have already taken all set of racks and GG has been called out by Zero Tenacity and at the end of it, it is going to be the side of Navi Jr. who are going to be taking the series 2-0 for themselves and Zero Tenacity, well, they did put up a decent amount of fight but eventually did not have enough gas in the tank to fight.